Hello all, welcome back. So in our previous video, we discussed about what is MCP servers, how MCP server works, MCP server architecture, and we also created our first MCP servers using a Google Maps MCP servers, and we created using the VS Code as a host. So we also interacted from VS Code to our Google Maps API or Google Maps MCP servers, and we tried to get some information about the places, get some direction, and it works completely fine with the VS code. Now in this video, we are going to do the same thing, but we'll be using a cloud desktop instead of the VS code. And I will show you how we can configure the MCP servers with the cloud desktop. Okay. So this is the official MCP servers uh, repositories we discussed in the last video. Okay. So I'll just open again for the servers. So these are all available MCP servers and I will go to the Google Maps API, Google Maps MCP servers. And there are a clear instructions about uh, Google Maps. Okay, so you will see how to use using the cloud desktop, using Docker and using the NPX. So I'll be using a NPX. So cloud desktop is already installed in my system. If it is not installed in your system, you can just install it it is a very straightforward download so you just go to this official site and you just download and run it so it, it is basic installation step so once it is installed you just open the cloud desktop in your system so this is just like your chat gpt or google gemini but the desktop version uh, nothing much different there might be a features here and there but overall the functionality is the same okay it is open for me okay here you can start your new chat so let's say I'm starting new chat and I'll just try to interact just like chat GPT hello so let's see the response Okay, so first, first let's try with the uh, normal queries. Reach from I will try the same queries which we tried in the last session. This is before running our MCP servers. I am trying. Okay, let's see what response we will get. So now it is searching on web. Okay, and you can see what it mentioned. I would recommend using Google Maps with the exact address and the real time navigation. So it is, it is just giving the result based on the Google search. Okay, so this is again the external system and you can see it searched on a multiple site. So you can see it searched on Google, on uh, web metrics and business today, blog Google. So a lot of website it interacted and then got you the answer so this is just like again the connecting to the external data system so instead of that what we can do we can directly connect to the google maps to get the real time and the exact data and the exact direction exact location exact coordinate so that we can do with the cloud desktop so in last video we did it using the vs code so now in this video we will just follow the instruction given here okay so you can see here in the cloud desktop add the following to your cloud desktop config.json so if you go to the uh, cloud desktop and if you go to the developer tool so if you go to these settings and there is a developer option so no servers added so there is no mcp servers added to your cloud desktop i'll just click on edit config and it will create one empty file if it is not already available okay so cloud desktop config.json so let me just open this file i'll just open this file and copy paste the content 
so this npx content okay so there are no mcp servers so this is completely blank so i'll just paste this one and i'm having my key so i will use the same key okay let me save it and close so now it will not directly identify so let's close it and sometimes we have to close it from the if it is available here so we have to close from the task manager as well so as a beginner you will face this issue that's why i'm just showing all the basic stuff sometimes even you edit the file mcp server will not show there now it should directly go to the home screen not in the setting menu if it is working fine yeah so you can see it's loading again yeah it is on the screen so if i go to the again settings and developer at least we should see the maps there yeah you can see the mcp servers google maps is added and it is running so let's see now we will interact with the so i'll create new chat and i will ask hello help me with direction from pune station to google pune office okay so let's see now it should also ask permission to run on the mcp servers yeah you can see it is asking just like a vs code we discussed in the last video it is asking permission and now it is using the map search places tool and then it is running the directions as well allow maps direction so first it got the exact coordinate and then it's using the maps direction tools and now it is giving the exact details so this answer you can see very detailed because we are directly using the google maps api so see it is asko asking by walk by public transit so i'll just hypothetically ask just i'll mention by walk so it should understand how much time it will take what is the direction so when we talk about the walk it is just passing this request mode walking let's see what it passed in earlier request okay so it haven't passed oh it it passed driving now it is passing the request as a you can see this is the request walk okay so let's say it is given the distance approximate time 1 hour 2 minute and everything it's from the google maps api so let's ask so it will use now geo code tool so if we are talking about this map place map distance now it should use maps geo code or maps reverse geo code okay directly got it because earlier response had that context so it directly gave the information okay so hope this is clear now how we can use uh, google maps mcp servers locally so we covered both the example how to use with the vs code and how to use with the cloud desktop so hope this is clear so thank you for wat watching this video and we'll see you again in the next video so in next video we'll be using a google cloud agent development kit and we are integrating that with the MCP servers okay